In this video, I will compare Typeform versus Jotform and tell you which of these form builders may be best for you and your needs. So first, let's go and cover who they are for and what they do exactly, starting with Jotform. So Jotform, of course, allows you to build forms. Now they claim they are the easiest online form builder and it has quite a lot of integrations with stuff like PayPal, Google Sheets, Microsoft Teams, Slack and if you click see more you will see over 100 different integrations. They also have some really good templates which is something that I miss in Typeform. Which is something that I miss in Typeform. Typeform barely has any templates while Jotform has many good templates. For example, if you go to the form templates right here, you can see there's a product order form, a new customer registration form. For survey templates, there are over 2000 different templates and you also have templates for apps. So here you have a scheduling app, a booking app. So Jotform does have a bunch of awesome features and it is not just for creating forms. You can also build internet apps, education apps, restaurant apps and more. Now comparing this to Typeform, Typeform is more of a form builder compared to Jotform, whereas Jotform has a bunch of features including an app builder, Typeform is just a form builder. You can see under its products they have the form builder, the survey maker and quiz maker, but these two are also sort of forms. Now Typeform integrates with HubSpot very well, so if you do use HubSpot then Typeform may be best for you since they are actually partners. Now you can use Typeform to acquire customers, get feedback and do research. And in terms of templates, you can see Typeform does have some templates, but they have far less compared to Jotform. And Jotform also has templates for building apps and stuff like that. Well, Typeform is more just to collect info basically. Now in terms of pricing, you can see Typeform does have a completely free plan available, which is very good. So you cannot see it right here, but if you sign up for an account, you will be signing up with their free plan where you get 10 responses per month, which is not that much. But for the basic plan, which is 25 euros per month, you will get 100 responses. Then 55 euros, you get 1,003 users. Then for 89 euros, which is for businesses, you get 10,000 responses per month, five users, and you can actually see drop-off rates, conversion tracking, and priority support, and live chat. And they have a custom enterprise plan. Also, if you want to remove the Typeform branding, you cannot even do that in the basic plan. For that, you will need to get the plus plan. So the basic plan only allows you to create very basic forms and the plus plan allows you to make more beautiful and on-brand forms. Now comparing this to Jotform's pricing, you can see they have the same amount of packages. The starter plan is completely free, where you get 5 forms, 100 monthly submissions compared to 10 in the Typeform free plan. And you get all of this right here, so you can see how much you will need. But the main difference here is also that in the job form premium plan, so the first one right here is bronze, you can already remove the branding. With type form, you need to get the 55 euro per month plan for that. And here you can do it for 39 and you will get 1000 monthly submissions for 39 euros compared to only 100 right here for 25 euros. And for the same 1000 responses, you will here pay 55 euros and on Jotform 39. So Jotform is also more affordable. Only if you want to create hundreds of different forms, then Typeform is best because with Typeform you can create unlimited forms. Now, if you are looking for a very simple, straightforward form builder, then Typeform might be best because they are very easy to use. And they do have an AI powered builder which will really easily help you make the form and the questions and the surveys and whatever you're making it for. Now you should go with Jotform if you're looking for an affordable form tool that integrates easily with over 100 apps and that has over 10,000 different templates and the ability to handle both traditional forms and one question at a time forms and also to build apps and do so much more. So if you're looking for a more all-in-one tool that has some great templates, then go with Jotform. If you're just looking to build some really straightforward forms and the pricing isn't the most important factor, then go with Typeform. So that concludes this comparison of Typeform versus Jotform. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.